Welcome to a lesson on levels of measurement. The way a set of data is measured is called its level of measurement. Correct statistical procedures depend on a researcher being familiar with levels of measurement. Not every statistical operation can be used with every set of data. Data can be classified into four levels of measurement. Here they are shown from lowest level to highest level. First we have the nominal scale level, followed by the ordinal scale level, then the interval scale level, and finally the ratio scale level. Data that is measured using a nominal scale is qualitative or categorical. Categories, colors, names, labels, and favorite foods, along with yes or no responses, are examples of nominal level data. Nominal scale data are not ordered. Data that is measured using an ordinal scale is similar to nominal scale data, but there is a big difference. The ordinal scale data can be ordered. An example of ordinal scale data is a list of the top five national parks in the United States. Data that is measured using the interval scale is similar to ordinal level data because it has a definite ordering, but there is a difference between data. The differences between interval scale data can be measured, though the data does not have a starting point. Temperature scales like Celsius and Fahrenheit are measured by using the interval scale. And then finally we have the ratio scale. Data that is measured using the ratio scale takes care of the ratio problem and gives you the most information. Ratio scale data is like interval scale data, but it has a zero point and ratios can be calculated. For example, four multiple choice statistics final exam scores are 80, 68, 20, and 92 out of a possible 100 points. The exams are machine graded. The data can be put in order from lowest to highest. The differences between the data have meaning. The score of 92 is more than the score of 68 by 24 points, and ratios can be calculated. For example, 80 is four times 20, and therefore the score of 80 is four times better than the score of 20. The previous content is from the OpenStax introductory statistics textbook. Before we go, I also want to show a table that shows the level of measurement as well as the measurement property, mathematical operators, advanced operations, and central tendency for each of the levels of measurement. And this table is from Wikipedia, which you can find following the link below. I hope you found this helpful.